You know, I think last year uh, was one of the best years on both sides for Michigan Tech track and field. Um, we were able to win, win a, uh, an event at the, at the conference meet from Casey Buckner and the Javelin, and uh, we had a couple uh, podium finishes there as well on the men's side with Jason Sliga in the steeplechase and uh, Javon Maddox in the 400 hurdles. Um, keeping on the men's side, uh, Kyle Peterman, uh, along with Javon, qualified for the national meet. So we're gonna, we're definitely gonna push uh, to continue to have Michigan Tech represented at the national meet this year. Um, and on the women's side this year, we bring back a lot of good seniors. Uh, we have great leadership on the women's side, and um, led by Jamie Dompier and Ashley Veal, uh, for sure. Uh, Ashley Veal is an academic All-American. Uh, returning this year, so she's looking to make that next step and, and potentially make that national meet in the 400 hurdles. Um, and then our women's 4x4 four four as well uh, is looking very strong uh, throughout this, this indoor season. Yeah, I think uh, on the men's side, we, we have a lot of good young uh, track-specific uh, athletes, the jumpers specifically. Uh, we have some very good, hard-working uh, freshmen this year. Um, but really, uh, it's, it's more of a whole team coming back and the, the atmosphere that we've been able to, to kind of generate throughout uh, the winter months here in, in the tough training. Uh, on the women's side, we have some very good freshman distance runners um, with Emily Bird, Julia Manzano, and uh, Carly Huggins have all opened up uh, their outdoor season uh, very strongly uh, this last week. Yeah, I think uh, for us, because of the, the, how short the season is, uh, every meet carries a lot of weight. Um, but our, our schedule is going to kind of take us around the Midwest. Uh, we're going to start with the meet down in Illinois, then we'll head up to Minnesota, uh, head to Wisconsin, and then, and then our regular season will finish uh, down in Michigan downstate. So now we're going to kind of travel around and try to find the best competition uh, for, for the current athletes we have and uh, make sure that every weekend we, we can get a little bit of, of uh, confidence boost moving in towards the ultimate goal of the conference meet at the end of the year. Yeah, so uh, in Division II, uh, in the NCAA, athletes qualify by uh, hitting standards, hitting heights or distances or times. Uh, and then at the end of the year, uh, the, an NCAA selection committee will pick a certain number of athletes per event. And if an athlete is in the top 20 of an event, they, they will go to the national meet. And the track's a little different in that it's more about the individuals you qualify for nationals that make up that team score at the end. Um, so we're kind of an individual sport walking around as a team sport. Uh, but if we can get, you know, a, a good core group of athletes on, on either side, um, I think we have, we have a good chance of representing Michigan Tech again at the national level. Yeah, the, the GLIAC is by far the best Division II conference in, in the country. Uh, it's, it's a good thing for us because we're able to have high-level competition uh, on a weekly basis, and it, and it gives our kids uh, continuous goals to shoot for. So where, where some people might get intimidated, I think we look at, at it as a great opportunity to not only push ourselves but continually get better and know that you know, every day has a purpose in practice, and we need to be on our A game if, if we want to be able to compete with some of those better schools. Uh, this year, it's, it's just going to be staying healthy, uh, you know, and that's in regards to injury or sickness. Um, some of the academic stress that we run into towards the end of the season with uh, exams and that the big project week at the end of the year is uh, something we have to manage as coaches and make sure that we're adjusting our training as well as kind of monitoring the, the mental stress uh, that our student athletes go under. So if we can stay healthy and stay focused uh, on the end goals, uh, I think we'll be very successful this year.